Absolutely. I know some of the signings I've done, I've done a signing in Seattle and San Fran and it's like, you know, this traditional poetry versus modern day poetry, but I don't really think of it like that. I think of it more as the poetry that we're writing now is more of a, a gateway. And I was saying to a reader, because um, she sort of asked about sort of what I thought, you know, about traditional poetry and, you know, this new poetry that we're kind of writing today. And I, to me, it's kind of like, Back then, you know, they had the same feelings and we felt the same things. It was just written differently. Yeah, definitely. So, you know, and language evolves and changes over time. And, you know, poets that wrote about love, you know, 50 years ago, we're still writing about love as well. We're just doing it, like, you know, speaking to, I guess, our generation and stuff like that. So I think it's yeah. really cool to think that someone walks into, you know, Barnes & Noble and, like, picks up pillow thoughts and reads pillow thoughts, but then sitting on the shelf is, you know, Edgar Allan Poe or Emily Dickinson, and maybe they've never been excited exposed to, you know, poetry like that, but they pick that up and they sort of think, hey, like, yeah. I kind of like this too. So it's 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 bringing them together. It's like connecting them, which I, I, I think is, um, I think that's cool.